under old business, we have information requests. We could get an update on the questions regarding the uh, selectman's lawyer. Um, distributed to you just now. And so we I, I, apparently we need to update the uh, information request spreadsheet because he's no longer non-responsive, right? Correct. Which makes us all feel better. Well, let's clarify that. We got the responsive, basically we got nothing. So you, technically we got a response. <laughs> Regina, I think you would agree. It's like... But it was responsive. I, I understand, but the, <laughs> the people at home need to know this so that they can look, watch the meeting. So for the people at home, the town attorney basically said nothing. They're not going to change anything. Thank you. Well, I'm interpreting the answer to be simply refuse the answer. You could look at it that way, too. Well, that's all I'm interested in is the status. So. Yeah at the moment. So what we did was we asked uh, through the protocol the uh, selectman's lawyer to uh, answer a couple of legal questions and uh, he did not, he refused to do so. He gave an explanation, print out of that is with every member here. Um, <coughs> he basically said, uh, that he gave opinions to the selectmen, and and the selectmen make the decisions, and it's basically you know not the concern of the budget committee, more or less, I guess. Regina, you want to comment? Yes, I believe he basically reiterated what I tried to explain the other night. Last <coughs> night, we had a discussion in public, so that everyone in public that was watching the meeting or could subsequently streamline it could see the discussion. And then he also said that the Budget Committee is certainly free to consult with New Hampshire Municipal Association concerning your questions. This has been authorized by the Board of Selectmen to the Chairman and Vice Chairman for some time now. Accordingly, I will not be appearing at your meeting tonight to provide any answers than these. And that is because he's been working on something else all day long that I've been receiving emails about all day long. So I think this email is the answer that we were looking for. The discussion that he had with the Board of Selectmen was done publicly on Monday night. And we reaffirmed the decision we priorly made. Are you, are you saying the status that I put in is incorrect? No, I say the committee can put the status in whatever they want, but in my opinion, yes. Do you think the status is incorrect? That it's not satisfied? No, I didn't. the status is refused. The request was refused. That's the status, refused. Whatever you do, you object to that? That he didn't answer those specific <coughs> no, questions? No, no, no. The only question on the table is what the proper status <coughs> is of the request. And I received. Believe we received a refusal. Yeah. Sure. Okay, we're in agreement, right? <coughs> Any other thoughts or comments? Well, he, he did say that he gave his opinion to the Board of Selectmen and he didn't want to appear here and, and uh, in a contradictory position and uh, speak to it. So <coughs> that's the way I understand it. What we need is a clear readout on this questions that you asked him uh, to, uh, to us here. We need... I think... I they weren't answered. Uh, we're, the issue here is, is these warrant articles that are... Uh, that are being put out that a lease for three years or five years or whatever, and the contracts don't have a non appropriation clause, and therefore only 50% of the people it takes to pass them. Whereas if they had an appropriation clause and the, and the, and the lease uh, agreements were spelled out in, in those contracts, a 60% approval rate would be necessary. That was the question. Where are we? Where are we going on this philosophy? From what I hear of the selectmen, they're very comfortable including the town manager, with with going with what they have documented. And they clearly stated that the lease is for five years and it'll be so much each year or whatever. And uh, they put that out in a warrant article and passed last year. Subsequently, you've had some training from New Hampshire Municipal Association and some words with maybe uh, ERA, I don't know, that uh, would indicate there's some fuzz there. Mm -hmm. So. 
I, I'm at loss at this point to weigh in on this at this point. Mr. Warburton. Mr. Chairman, you have been very clear, along with the Vice Chairman, Mr. Pluff, on this issue, and, and I appreciate my colleague, Mr. Zanoy's comments. But this issue goes beyond uh, mind-boggling to me. We, we talked about why this was brought up. There, when we did the five-year lease years ago at the ladder truck, there was an escape clause in it. That's a key issue. The other issue is that back then, unlike now, from probably mid-90s, late 90s, so budget's pretty much passed every year. It, so what happened was, after that first year, I think the ladder truck was 580 or whatever, 600,000. That 100,000 was put in the budget every year. It's never an issue. But I think what the chairman has pointed to, and based on what, what I find interesting, when it's convenient, we like DRA, but when it isn't, we don't. DRA has recommended, along with our long time, We've heard about a lot of experts in the schools, but we've got a guy over here, Mr. Pluff, for 50 years in this town, has been our go-to man in public works and all these things that we've been doing. We want to have these vehicles. He asked to have it separated. I watched the same meeting. They talk about our meetings. I watched the Slackens meeting. I mean, there was some, there was some really, uh, I mean, it was like there was no interest in having any kumbaya so that we could propose this. So what's happened as a result, and just to clarify, Jerry, just came on, we never requested the town attorney to be here. We requested an opinion, and to, I absolutely agree. I, I'm probably stronger on it than Tim as far as refuse. I, I think it's an outright, outright just, I, I don't know. And so we're going to hear more about it going over the Warnockles tonight, but, I mean, you know, the goal is to get things passed, but you have to have based on information that we feel is important. So that, that's all I'm going to say. I don't, I don't think we got an answer on it. But. No, the questions that were posed uh, weeks ago by email. Right. Uh, is what we're talking about, right? And whether they were answered or not. And now we have an answer, which was we ref I refused to answer, and that's what it comes down that's to. That's correct. Did you have your, you want to speak, Regina? Yes, I want to say that DRA was a recommendation. Mm -hmm. And I got to tell you, for my first term as selectman, listening to outside people tell us what's best for Hampton doesn't work. And the board of selectmen felt and based on feedback, I've felt that all these warrant articles are really annoying people, and they're just saying no because of the length of the ballot. Now, I know that at least, I think actually all of us right now, the biggest concern we all have right now, including myself, is transparency. Yes. And it needs to change. I was just at a um, coastal Hazardous Adaptation Team. Mm. It's going to be including a Board of Selectmen rep, Jay Diener, of course, Ray Ann, and it's pretty much going to be a team that's going to figure out how to uh, deal <coughs> with all these flooding issues that we have going on in this town. Well, when I was asked to be the Board of Selectmen rep, I was happy to do it, but then I immediately realized that we didn't have a zoning board rep on there. All right, just because boards don't regulate each other, doesn't mean they shouldn't be put on the same page all the time. This is a huge issue for Hampton. It's a huge issue for people I have known my whole life that don't know what to do in the houses they are living in. They don't know whether to sell. They don't know whether they can get a loan. They don't know whether they can get a grant. And it's awful. And it looks like that we're actually going to, I convinced the chat tonight to add a zoning board rep so that we could all be on the same page on a continuous basis. Mm -hmm. That's what needs to happen. The miscommunication <laughs> is not just from, it's me too as a selectman. I find out things third party constantly. I don't necessarily think it might be anyone's fault. I think it's just that that's the way it's been done and that's the way people have let it to happen. And if it doesn't change, it's gonna really hurt the town. Well, I and I'm sorry, but I think Mark has not answered these specific questions, no, right. but we had the discussion, which is what I was under the impression that you wanted to happen on Monday night. And Mark explained, and the town manager right. and the board of selectmen agreed. He is also offering that if you don't like his answer, that you can go and you can contact NHMA and ask these specific questions. He is not here right now. and. 
this is what he prepared. And he, I emailed this to him earlier and I just got it and I didn't get back on my email till six o'clock tonight. That's why Tim didn't get it because I worked all day and then I went to a meeting <clears throat> and then I went home and I came here. That's what my life is, no, I... okay? So <laughs> transparency is the problem. I called you this morning and it's because I felt like I didn't know information. Okay, Call that needs to change. Okay. We'll All right. So that's what the problem is. Can I just add one more comment to your uh, come to your rescue here? Here's the difference between why the chairman spoke about DRA. The NHMA is a political lobbyist, just like the school boards association is. We're not interested in the NHMA. The the DRA we look to for a numerous amount of things. That's the point. And Mark himself said, "Buddy, oh, there's like a difference between uh, NHMA. Well, DRA has their opinion. DRA says talk to. I mean, this is just ludicrous." So. I agree with what you're saying. Good for the flooding, by the way, but go ahead. Well, uh, I, will, I will suggest this to you, Regina. I believe I sent, you asked, sent me via, uh, asked me a question via email a couple of weeks ago uh, to specifically delineate the questions that I have for the selectman's attorney to answer. And I immediately sent you four questions. And that was, uh, what, two weeks ago, right? Something like that. So it wasn't like, you know, a last minute thing that we were doing here. It was been out there, was sent out to uh, the selectman's attorney uh, by you, forwarded, uh, some two weeks ago. So this is not a last well, minute thing. Well, maybe kind of it's thing. my so I just interpretation wanted, I want, because I thought that you wanted something specific. So I just wanted to get that on the record. And the reason why, you, you, I presume the reason you asked me for specific questions was because you were going to have the specific questions addressed. But the specific questions were not addressed, and that's the only conclusion that I'm drawing here. And th that's all. I don't know why we're making big noise about it. As far as going to uh, an HMA, I actually, after I gave my report on what DRA disclosed to me, I believe that was in the December 26th meeting, I think, um, I offered that maybe we should ask an HMA, and this committee seemed to be like, more or less, who cares? What had NHMA has to say? I mean, that, right. was, that was the sense I got. So, yes. Uh, and I, I kind of sort of understood it. And it's actually, you know, a little bit reflective here in Mark's refusal. <clears throat> a point of topic that we've had on and off over the years. But here he begins a sentence As I represent the Board of Selectmen, who are the governing body of the town, I am not in a position to advise you on questions that are aimed at coming up with contradictory positions taken by that Board of Selectmen. So you can see clearly, as you had asked previously, David, who, who does he represent as an attorney? He represents the Board of Selectmen. He's quite clear in that statement there, isn't he? Yeah. So, Very clear. Right. And so why, why are we asking? He's saying it's not appropriate uh, for him to answer uh, because he represents the Board of Selectmen. So obviously we have no legal recourse in terms of getting uh, legal opinions from the Selectmen's attorney. It's, it's just a total dead end no matter what the question is, really, right? And Brian is suggesting, with some credibility, I think, that given that the NHMA is the lobbying group of the Board of Selectmen, that that would be, you know, equally, uh, well, uh, questionable source for us getting legal opinion on. We did get a legal opinion uh, from uh, DRA. Thank you. Which was quite informative, and uh, that's it, right? I mean, I, I, don't, I don't think there's anything more to say on the matter. So, I mean, we've gotten it all we could get, but it was asked to go to the town attorney or the selectman's attorney, and I did, and this is what we got, and that's, that's that. It. End of story. All right? Yep. Okay, let's move on. Yes, this is old business. Uh, attorney Durrell's response, I think there might have been confusion, okay, because I was under the impression that I was asking him to recap what the board just did on Monday night. And I think the reason why he replied the way he did was because the Board of Selectmen had just made a decision on Monday night. But I can clarify that, but I can't do it right now. So I just want to say that it could be on me. Okay, so just let's put that out there for right now. Well, you know, I, certainly I am not, and I suspect this committee is not as well. What I'm interested in playing a blame game. We're just interested in getting facts. Well, I That's just, all. yeah, but if so it's something that the I The conversation was not directed toward figuring out who to blame, is all I'm suggesting, okay? 
So again, lack of transparency. Maybe you should just have direct. If you want to ask questions to council, I think maybe you should be allowed to during the budget process. So maybe that's something that can be reconfigured yeah, so next year. Protocol of improvement then possibly for next year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That might be better. Uh, we, we got as much as we're going to get, so I mean, we're, we're right. accepting But I just want to say so. that it could have been me. I could have been part of the problem, so. Okay. Any other? Uh, 